Hello, welcome and thanks for watching this video and let's find out what you get when you buy an SFP Plus module for copper RJ45 connectors from Unify. First of all, let's remember that you must have an SFP Plus module port available to use this device instead of a normal SFP slot. This means that the maximum speed that you're gonna get is 10 gigabit per second. I have to tell you that these SFP Plus modules are um, exactly what SFP is all about, mixing communication technologies. You can have them in different optic fiber technologies, various copper link speeds, converging all of them into small um, to medium sized and big robust switches for home office or big enterprises. Uh, these SFP Plus modules let you connect normal RJ45s into SFP Plus switches. That's basically what you have. Mm, the transmission speed, of course, right here is going to be 10 gigabit per second. That is the main difference between SFP and SFP+. Plus. However, you must consider that Ubiquiti certifies this specific device for a maximum distance of 30 meters. That is something very important. Compared to the 100 meters that you can get if you connect directly to the RJ45s um, of a 10 gigabit Ethernet Unify switch. For example, ports 10 and 11 of this Unify Dream Machine Pro support 10 gigabit Ethernet for downlinking and 10 gigabit per second enterprise internet connection. This setup, for example, lets us have two internet service providers connect directly to the Unified Dream Machine Pro. This is a video that we recently created. Uh, it has an active failover backup, which may be very important for some businesses where having internet blackouts is not an option. So if you want to connect your 10 gigabit Ethernet server directly to the Unified Dream Machine, you can also do that by using this device. Mm, these SFP Plus modules are very, very handy, and that is exactly what you may need in some scenarios. Uh, we have used it for many months now, and since the beginning we've had no trouble. You may just need to manually configure 2.5 gigabit Ethernet link if you need it, uh, given that the auto negotiation did not work, not even with the current firmware of Unify switches. This may be changing very quickly, but that is, uh, as of now, that is a problem that Unify has that you have to select manually 2.5 gigabit or even one gigabit per second link you have to configure it manually that was all thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to visit our storefront where you're gonna find many of our recommended products and of course support us in creating this content for people who are in the decision making process of buying all the products that we evaluate see you next time